Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel and of course another repair and today we have an iPhone 7 model A1660 but it actually a model A1770 because the body has been already changed and I removed the board and I saw that it has a Intel baseband. So the problem with this phone uh, is that there is no IMEE in the uh, activation screen as you can see there's only a serial number which you can take and do whatever you want because i didn't give a fuck about this phone and it says there is no service also and as you can see it has been already been another uh, service shop that just keeps fucking the phones so that's why i don't give a damn about this phone <laughs> and uh we, we will try to fix the no service issue and of course i want to share with you this video because i already made a qualcomm uh, baseband version video for the iphone 7 and it's time for the iphone 7 intel version because the iphone have two different models and two different basements so now we will go under the microscope and see if we can fix this damn board so let's go okay now we remove the board and this is the motherboard why I say there's a motherboard, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is the board under the microscope. As you can see from the first look, everything looks fair. That's all I can say. And as you can see, they already removed the uh, shield that protects the CPU and the baseband. Now let's go to the... Uh, yeah, let's go to the other side. And here's the, um, the shithole that I'm, uh, I've talked about. In the intro i mean what the hell is this please for everyone who works with this stuff or has another uh, has a, a service shop just please don't do this shitty ass work because i mean what the hell even if you put a lot of flux just clean after your work is done i mean what the hell is this look all the elements are burned flux everywhere not just any flux one of the worst flux i ever seen as always and uh, the other service said that they already made a audio codec problem it worked like for a month and now audio codec is working but there is no vibro uh, no vibration of Taptic engine and there is no uh, service so if they said if you uh, fixed the no service you have to, to do uh, the uh, vibrator and also there is a problem with the touch ID I'm going to check it out but uh, our main focus today is on the no service. So basically, uh, first thing I'm going to do is remove the uh, uh, control management of the baseband and check all the pads. And if everything is okay, I'm going to replace it. So this is the main video and the main thing we are going to do in this video. So uh, I guess let's go.
Okay, now that our work is done, we are going to test our work and our repair and see if the phone has a modern firmware and a service. Let me just connect the battery over here. Here we go, connect the battery, of course, and now insert a SIM card, a working SIM card. And here we go, waiting for the phone to boot up. And if you still have the uh, this problem that there is no modern firmware or no service, just try to fully restore the phone, not resetting the uh, network settings or just resetting the phone, restoring the phone in uh, recovery mode or DFU using iTunes or 3U tools, doesn't matter. Okay, so now we are waiting for the service. And as you can see, the operator is Keevstar uh, in 3G. 3G is working. Let me just check the antenna. Yeah, everything seems okay. And now we are going to dial number and see if everything is working fine. And as you can see, there is uh, a uh, sound from the call and everything looks okay. And now we are going to jump uh, to fix uh, the vibration and the touch ID, but I'm not going to include this in the video so thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and as always stay safe and have a good day